Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. So you just watched Tara uh, pull off her do's and don'ts. I'm sure she nailed it. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, obviously. I'm gonna be seeing it for the first time with you all. Um, but I'm excited to see it. Um, anyway, it took us a while to get here. Uh, she challenged me back probably in May, uh, but you know, with life and family obligations and just, this is my busy season, summertime. So I just think we've been, um, uh, a little delayed, but we're finally here. I'm excited for you to see my portion of the video. Um, all right, so without further ado, my three do's. I have to use the hair dryer. So I had to use the hair dryer in my painting. Um, if you're familiar with my videos, you know I don't use it very often. So that was a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm gonna not gonna lie, um, but I did use it. I had to use a 16 by 20 inch or larger canvas and I had to use green which is easy because I tend to use green very often um, my three don'ts what do you think would be one of my don'ts take a guess <laughs> I'm not allowed to use the palette knife I use a palette knife probably in every video so that wasn't a big surprise I wasn't allowed to use the palette knife, but she did say I could use something else and she knew I'd use something to swipe with. So, and just stay tuned, you'll see what I used. Um, I am not allowed to use a dark base and I have to, or I don't, I do not use less than five colors. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I'm excited for you to see what I did. Um, I'm going to be announcing who I am challenging next. Um, she already agreed to it, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, um, if you're new here, like, subscribe, comment. It helps both our channels. And uh, here it is. Here's my painting. Stay tuned till the end to see who I'm challenging next. All right, well, I almost forgot to tell you what kind of pour I'm doing. So I have a few videos back where I am using a recipe that is basically like the pearl cell pour, but I don't put the satin enamel in it. So I don't want all the pearls, but I want the reaction of the thin paints. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just adding more water to my normal um, recipe, which is Floetrol water. And I do add a little GAC 800 in that because that does help with crazing or cracking and kind of helps with the thinner paints. I feel it does. Um, so I do you add a little of that. Um, I am using some primary element pigments in this vid in this painting, and um, that's what gives it a lot of the shimmer. Um, in order to use the pigments, you need to reconstitute them into a paint, right? So just like you're using for the for the bloom technique, that's how you'd be reconstituting these and to use them in your paintings. You would have to use a binder, a uh, acrylic binder to wet the pigment. And I add in my deep base, and this is what I use for the blooms. It's number 8300, right? It's a deep base. Um, two teaspoons of that into the pigment, mix it up really well, and then add your pouring medium. That's it. So you're just making a paint. That's all you're doing. All right, so I'd use a few of them and a, this little piggy pigment, same thing. Um, if you're familiar with the blooms, you know what I'm talking about, but this is, instead of the bloom technique, I'm using it in just a regular pour. All right, guys, enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. Tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say. Straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way yeah. Yes, I'm on my way A bit naive and so eager to please but You know I played for love but it got me on my knees 
Now's the time to reap what I've sown. Your words echoing in every single bone. Underwater, so far out at sea. There's no cure for what you're telling me. And soon I'm on my way. I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way I'm on my way I'm on my way I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in. Start 
guys I hope you enjoyed that so I have challenged Mandy Roca of Hope Designs to the next challenge so she agreed to do it with me so we will be um, getting together a couple more videos and continuing this do's and don'ts challenge all right guys thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day and Tara thanks again bye bye <laughs>